What's up everybody, Chris Gall here, Healthy Living with Chris Gall. Today we're gonna to talk about mindset is everything, you can do this, and we're gonna get right to it. All right, and make sure you watch the full video to get the full effect of this video because it all kind of kind of ties in, so it would make sense if you actually watch the full video. And make sure you take action if you need to because remember Newton's law that a body at rest stays at rest and a body in motion stays in motion unless a force is acted upon them. So basically what that means is, is if you're either standing still or you're going in the wrong direction in your life, you can't change that unless you change something in your life. It's just not gonna automatically happen. You have to actually make a change. What this video is all about is that the most underestimated power in the world is mindset. And there's a great quote by Henry Ford, and it goes, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Basically what that means is if you think you can do it, well, you're probably gonna do whatever you can to get there. And if you think that you can't do it, you're probably not gonna try and you're not gonna try, you're not gonna get there. And a lot of this really comes in because I was listening to my wife and, and her clients that she has on her weight loss program. And she basically has two types of clients. And there's the type that think they can succeed on it. And they look for every positive thing in the program in every positive way in order to actually make it succeed for them because they know it's their program. They know it's not like something being forced upon them. It's their program and it's up to them to actually be successful on it. And those people tend to actually succeed and get to their goal weight and lose all the weight that they want to lose and they actually get to their goal weight. And then there's another type of person. Another ones who are always, they, they just think they can't do it. And they might not say they, they think that way, but you can tell by the way they talk and they find every excuse why the program won't work for them. And because of that, they fail and they never get to their goal weight. So it's all mindset. It, 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 you can't get to your goal unless you have your mind right and that you're gonna say, yes, I can reach that, I can achieve that goal, I'm gonna do it. And if you go with it with saying, you know, there's no way I'm ever gonna do this, you're not gonna ever achieve it. You have gotta really work at it, getting your mind to the point where you actually do believe that you can achieve a goal. So one thing to do is you come up with goals that you really actually believe you can hit and you go for them. And once you hit that, then you think, okay, what's the next thing that I can do? And you can actually improve the goal there as opposed to taking off, taking, you know, going up with a goal that you really can't achieve and you think you can't achieve it and then you won't do it right off the bat. So you can always do it in steps and you can get to those bigger goals by doing little goals to get there. It really comes down to forward thinkers and forward thinkers have that can do attitude. You know, they don't sit in a safe place, they get out of their comfort, they're willing to get out of that comfort zone and they know they're going to fail at times but they're okay with failing at times because they know that's just a way to learn how to get to the point where they will succeed and those people typically do succeed. And then there's the backwards type of thinkers. They're the ones who have that can't do attitude. I can't do it, I can't do it. And I'm really comfortable in this safe space. I see it so much, especially when I was in corporate America where I knew a lot of people who had jobs that they hated. And I, was, I used to say, well, go find another job that you like. And most of them would not do it because they were so afraid to get out of that comfort zone even though they hated the job, they knew that there was a paycheck there, they can go there every day, and they knew that in 30 years they can retire. To me, that's not living life, that's just life living for you. And that's not something that I think is something that any of us really want. And those people typically don't go anywhere. They sit there in the same place because they're too afraid to move up. You need to believe that you are in control of your own life and not allowing others to control it for you. So basically, it's so easy to allow your friends or your family members or whatever tell you what you should do in your life even though you don't want to do it and then you end up hating your life and you're not happy and you're not successful because you don't really care about what you're doing. You have to have passion in what you're doing to really be successful in it. Again, you know, life can happen to you or you can make life happen and that's, that's really up to you and you just need to make the right decision. It is hard, you know, there are times that I have a hard time too with this. I, I, you know, it's not every day I'm waking up and I'm like, wow, I'm gonna hit my goals. Uh, this is fantastic. Everything is great. I love my life. I mean, there are times I wake up, I'm like, wow, how am I gonna do this? So 
I have to work at it and everybody has to work at it and every successful person in the world has those kind of days. So don't think that you're the only one who has them if you happen to have those kind of days. It's just that you have to work past that and, and, and move on. A, one good way in order to do that is to have to, to read self-improvement books or self-improvement videos like this one or podcasts or whatever, audio books and all of that kind of stuff. Not only does it help you get back to where you need to be because you know, it's helping you give you tips on how to move forward, but it's also inspiring you and it gets you pumped up, you know, and there's nothing that I love, love more than a book that just pumps me up and gets me ready to go to the next step. Make sure you read those things. And I do have a video on some of my favorite ones that you can look at. And it's just a great way to pump yourself up. And there's so many of them. I have, I have a video that has like five, my five top, but there's just so many out there that you can go to the, li uh, to the bookstore, library, whatever, and you can find all sorts of books on, on self-improvement and just grab one up, you will feel better. Oh, and again, they're on video too, they're on podcasts, they're everywhere. So you can, there's, there's no excuse not to consume self-improvement material. And you have to believe that you have greatness in you and that you can and that you can achieve and that you deserve because a lot of people don't believe this you could do deserve what you want to get out of life because a lot of people think oh well money is evil and i shouldn't you know want this because others don't have it and you shouldn't think that way you should think you know i only could live here once i'm only on the planet once i should go i should be happy when i'm down here i should get what makes me happy and i should move, and i should just have a great time and that doesn't mean you have to be a billionaire or anything like that because you know, just because you're a billionaire doesn't mean that you're happy, but you should be able to do what makes you happy, regardless of what that is, and you're gonna be much better off and you're gonna be much more successful because you're gonna enjoy what you're doing. Your mindset is just critical in creating your success and happiness, so just remember that. And that's really all I had today, and I'm just wondering what you got from the video. Are you gonna take any of these things in mind and, and use them as you move forward? And do you have any other thoughts or anything or anything else that you want to add to help other people achieve greatness and happiness in life? Please put them in the comments below because I just love reading that kind of stuff and also helps everybody else who can read those comments. And I will join you down there soon because I just love that. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows to push this video out to others so that they can benefit from it as well. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell notification because if you do that, then you're going to be notified every time I put out a healthy living video. They're all free. They all have great advice. So you will be notified and you can pop in and watch that video. And if you'd like, two videos are going to pop up any moment and you can continue your happy living journey if you click on any of those. Oh, and one last thing. Make sure you don't forget to share this video to any, with anyone who can use it because we can all use healthy living videos. And so make sure that you share this with them and they can join in on all the fun. And I'll see everybody soon.